In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to calculate the future value of uh, annuity payments. And more specifically, we'll be looking at ordinary annuities where we got equal payments that are received at the end of each period and they're discounted forward to determine their future value. And then we're going to look over here at uh, annuity due payments where the payments are received, they're equal payments and they're received at the beginning of each period and therefore uh, discounted forward to determine their future value. So let's go and start here with the ordinary annuity where we get the payments at the end of each period. So uh, what we have to know here is uh, our time frame, where, where we receive those payments, in this case at the end of each period, and then the unknown amount here would be the uh, a future value. We also have to know the interest rate that applies to the uh, periods that we're talking about. And let's just say that these are yearly uh, uh, and end of year amounts, so that would be a, a yearly interest rate here. So the payments are known, the interest rate's known, the time frame is known, and then we can calculate the future value, which is the unknown amount. So let's go in here and look at how we'd make that calculation to determine its future value. So uh, year one, our beginning balance, well, we haven't received anything here at the beginning of the year, but we have a payment here at the end of the uh, first year. So that would be our ending balance. So we take our first year's ending balance, it would become the second year's beginning balance here. Now, we multiply that times our interest rate. So for this demonstration, we'll use a 10% interest rate. So we we'll take that beginning balance times the 10% interest rate. We get the interest expense or, or, or revenue for uh, that, uh, those payments, and we'd add that to the beginning balance here. And then plus we have a payment here that we received at the end of the year. So our ending of balance would include that beginning balance plus the uh, interest expense or revenue plus the payment here. So the ending balance of year two becomes the beginning balance of year three and we just repeat that process on through here until we determine uh, its future value at the end of year four. So uh, after adding up these four payments plus the interest received or paid on that on those annuity payments we'd get an ending balance here of in this case forty six hundred and forty one dollars that would be our future amount and that was based on uh, calculate uh, these interest uh, calculating the interest expense here or revenue at ten percent so that just to summarize here our uh, future our uh, ordinary annuity we have the payments at the end of the period which are known we have our interest rates known plus uh, the number of payments and we could we'll calculate this future amount here. All right here we'll calculate the future value of annuity due payments. Now annuity due payments are equal payments that we receive at the beginning of each period, in this case at the beginning of each year. So we discount those payments forward to determine their future value here. And in this case we have to know their the interest rate at which to discount them forward at and the value of the payments are known and the time frame in which we receive or pay those payments. So we can determine its future value. So let's go down here and look at how we would uh, determine that future value. So at the beginning of year one we received the first payment here. Now we have to add in the interest expense or revenue for that payment. And I use 10% here, so we take our interest rate times our beginning balance and we get our interest expense or revenue here. Plus, we add in that payment that uh, it borders, well, it, we include the payment that would re be received at the uh, beginning of the second year here. So we add all that together and we get an ending balance here. Now we take that ending balance of year one and it becomes the beginning balance of year two. So we do that, as, include our interest, expense or revenue, revenue here, plus another payment that we receive or pay here and then that becomes our ending balance and then we just repeat that process on through until we get down to the end of year four where we come out with a present or future value here of fifty one hundred and five dollars now that include that future value here included the interest that we received or paid on that on those annuity payments plus this beginning balance here plus these three payments so in summary, 
if we go up here and look at our cash flow diagram, uh, the annuity due payments here at the beginning of each period, and we discount those forward to determine our future value, and then we have to know our interest rate here. So we've got no one value for the payments, the discounting period or how many payments that we have, and then our interest rate to determine our future value. So this is just an overview of how you would do the future value for ordinary annuities where the payments are at the end of each period and the annuity dues where the payments are at the beginning of each period. Now you can do the same type of calculations here for the present value of annuity dues where you discount those payments backwards to determine their present value for both ordinary annuities and annuity dues. All right, let's just summarize by going over the cash flow diagram for each one of these annuity types here. And we'll start out with this present value of ordinary annuity. And I just want to note here where you see this, uh, in this case for a present value, you see the PV, you would use that type of function in your uh, calculator to determine the present value. And then same over here if you're looking at a future value, use the future value function for determining that type of annuity. So. Let's go back here and look at the present value of ordinary annuity. To summarize, the, you have equal payments there at the end of each period, and you discount those back to determine their present value here. So you have to know the interest rate, you have to know um, the payment amount, and you have to know the number of payments on the timeline here. So if we go down here and look at a present value of an annuity due, that's where the payments are at the beginning of each period, and you would discount those back to determine their present value. Now going up here and looking at what we talked about on our future value of ordinary annuity, that's where the payments are at the end of each period and you discount those forward to determine their future value here. And if you look at a future value of an annuity due, uh, that's where the payments are at the beginning of each period. You discount those forward to determine their future amount. So. What you have to know when you're doing your uh, these type of problems, you have to be able to identify if the payments are at the beginning or the end of each period. You have to know their amount. You have to know the interest rate and uh, the timing on the timeline here. And then you can uh, determine their present value and future value. So uh, by definition, remember what the ordinary annuity is, payments at the end of each period, and remember what the annuity due uh, uh, payments are and that they're at the beginning of each period.